Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how to use partition by method in Java Edstream with a code example. So partition by API is used for grouping. For example, here we have a list of products and their price. So now what we want is a list of products where the price is more than 10,000. So using partition by API, I can do that. So it will be returning two groups where the price is more than 10,000, true and then false which is less than 10,000. As a result, we'll, I'll be getting two groups. Let's see with the code example. So in the code, inside the main method, I have something called prepared products. So here we are preparing the product objects. So we have a list of products, headphone, video game with their corresponding price. And now I'm creating a predicate. Predicate means it's a function interface where it takes the input argument and returns boolean. So here we have the condition. The condition is give me the product price which are greater than 10,000. On top of the products, I'm going to call streams. and I try to collect them, I'm going to call partitioning by. Let's go inside this. It takes the predicate so we are going to pass the predicate which is product price is more than 10,000 and it will return two groups true and false in the corresponding list in our case it will be product which are more than 10,000 and less than 10,000 and finally we are going to print it in the console so in this program you can see I'm getting two groups true the products which are more than 10,000 and false the products which are less than 10,000 so this is how we can use the partitioning by API hope this small program is helpful all the best for your career please subscribe to interview channel thank you